hi lovelies welcome back to the channel it's your favorite girl favor if this is your first time of coming across my youtube channel thank you so much for being here please do not forget to click on the subscribe button leave a comment share like and also turn on your notification bell so that you'll be the first to be notified whenever we post a new video and to my returning subscribers thank you guys so so much for your support so far i really do not take your support for granted so for today we're going to be learning the easiest way to draft out a perfect fit pencil skirt or pe pencil skirt with a butt lift so if this is something that interests you without wasting much of your time let's head to the tutorial proper so guys for today's tutorial on how to get a perfect pencil skirt with a butt lift these are the materials we're going to be making use of and you can see the measurements on the screen these are the measurements that we'll be working with okay so guys if you've been following my youtube channel you will know that before we start our pattern drafting we'll go ahead and come out by come down by half an inch which is what i'm doing right here okay so after draft after cutting this now the next thing we're going to go ahead now we're going to help label this our waistline so from this waistline is where we're going to be taking all our basic bodies so we're going to go ahead now and label this so from my waistline we're going to go ahead now and get my hip point now the hip point i'm working with is eight inches still from our waistline we're going to get our knee our knee line now for the knee line if you only apply a knee line to your pants your skirt when the when your skirt is be, uh, below your knee but if your skirt is above your knee there's no need for this knee line okay so from our shoulder still we're going to get um the full length now the full length of this skirt is going to be 34 inches but because this line this pattern it stops at 28 inches we're going to be making use of the pattern that way so when i'm cutting on my fabric i will add the allowances so we'll go ahead now and connect all the lines together that we've done and then we'll also extend this like so okay so after that now we're going to go ahead and label this the hip line this is going to be serving as our hip line and this is going to be our knee line please do not forget that knee line is only necessary if your pencil skirt is below your knee but if it is above your knee there is no need for your knee line okay so after getting our after labeling this now the next thing we're going to go ahead now to do is to get our basic bodies now to get our basic bodies you see where i place my tape now the round tummy my round waist is 30 30 divided by 4 will give us 7.5 that is what i marked there plus one inch allowance for our dads okay then for my hip line the hip i'm working with is 40 inches 40 divided by 4 will give us 10 inches okay so we're going to go ahead now and mark down the 10 inches for my hip okay so after marking our hip now the next thing we're going to get is our knee line now to get our knee line whatever you have on your hip you minus two inches now my hip line my hip is 10 i'm going my hip is 10 and i'll be minusing two inch from 10 which will be left with eight so that eight is what we're going to mark on our knee line so that is what is going to, we're going to use for our knee line now whatever you do for your knee whatever measurements you apply on your knee is the same measurements you will use for your full length okay so guys after doing this now the next thing we're going to go ahead to do is to connect the lines that we have dotted but before that let me still explain for the knee line whatever you do for your hip if you have 10 inches like i did and then your hip is 10 inches you take away two inches from hip from your hip and then whatever you're left with is what you're going to be using for your knee okay so we'll go ahead now and connect all the dotted lines together now you can use a free hand to do this um lines but uh, when you're using a free hand please do not forget to make sure it's accurate okay so after doing this now the next thing we're going to go ahead now is to cut this out okay so guys after drafting after cutting this out now the next thing we're going to go ahead to get now is our 
dart measurement now to get our dart we're going to divide our bust pan by two okay that is your nipple to nipple divided by two my nipple to nipple is eight inches now eight divided by two will give us four that is that four inch you're seeing there now guys if you if you, if you can see where i'm marking it so after marking this now the next we're going to go ahead to do now is to come down by five inches now five inches is okay for the length of your dart okay for the width of your dart for the length of your dart rather okay so after marking this five inch we'll go ahead now and connect from our width down to the length of the where we marked our dart length you can see what i'm doing we'll go ahead and connect it down to meet the five inches now after connecting this now we'll go ahead now to get our dart base now from we'll come in by half an inch and we'll also go out by half an inch if you remember when we were cutting our waist when we we're marking our waistline we added extra one inches for our dart so we'll go ahead and connect this together like so so after connecting this right now you can see how this is okay so after connecting this we'll take this aside and pick our back pattern but before we draft our back pattern we'll pick the front now and label it the front this is just to differentiate the front and the back okay so this is the front we we'll label it and keep it aside now guys you can see that i've gone ahead to label the the basic bodies for our back pattern now to get our back pattern we're going to come in by half by two inches now this two inches is where we're going to be is going to be serving as our zipper allowance so we'll connect this down to the full length okay so after connecting this now we'll go ahead now and connect the lines the dotted lines together okay so please go ahead and connect your lines together so guys after connecting our line now the next we're going to go ahead now to do is to pick the front part pattern and then pin it together to be firm on the back pattern you can see what i'm doing pick the back the front pattern and pin it together with the back pattern okay so the essence of this is to help the front pattern not to move when we're taking when we're marking our back pattern so after placing it properly you can see where i place if the two inch that we we came in that is going to be serving as our zipper allowance is where i placed it you can see it from there so after arranging it properly now we're going to go ahead and pin this all around okay so we're going to go ahead now and do and um, pin it We start our um, back pattern measurement i'm going to lay emphasis on the importance of this butt tightening or bum bum shape whatever you call it now it makes your skirts fit perfectly on your body when on your butt when you wear in fact it helps to lift your butt it makes you sit properly on your skirt okay so to start our butt um contouring now we're going to go ahead now from our waistline we'll come out we'll come out by one inch okay from our waistline then we'll come down to the hip line then we'll come out by two inches okay now guys to get the slit now this um, um pencil skirt is going to be an open slit okay okay Okay, based on the request based on um the recommendation i'm going to be getting or comments i'm going to be getting from this i'm going to also do a tutorial on how to get an overlap slit now to get our open slit from your hip line you will come down either by one by three inches by four inches or by five inches now i'm going to be settling for five inches because i don't want to expose my tie or i don't want to expose my my laps okay so and our knee do not forget our knees line still stands the same i will not do anything to the knee now for my hip line i'm going to come down by five inches now that is where my open slit is going to start from so depending on how the comfortable the one that is comfortable for you you can use three inches you can use two four inches you can use five inches so after marking the five inches we'll go ahead and extend the line like so then from this line now that we extended we're going to now come out by one inches okay 
now the what we're now left with you can see we are now left with a one two one okay i hope you understand okay now from this one two one that we've done okay we're going to go ahead now from this one inch that we is where we're going to be getting our hip contouring okay so this is what it looks like i hope you can see very it's very easy this is the simplest way to get it okay now remember our knee line still starts the same now what the next we're going to go ahead and do now is to connect this now i will always say this if you do not have a curve rule, please do not stress it use your free hand to do this is easier to even do this with your free hand but if you don't if you have a curve rule, fine use your curve rule. so we're going ahead now and connect all the lines we've dotted together you can see the way i am connecting it okay so please go ahead and connect yours like so so after connecting this right now this is not going to be serving as our zipper allowance okay so you can see how this is looking you can see the shape is given already it's giving all the both shape so we'll go ahead now and label this our zipper allowance now i know you'll be wondering how are we going to now get the bot allowance when this is also the zipper allowance this is what we're going to be learning when we are going to be sewing on the pattern on the fabric itself now guys from this one inch that we came out here we're going to now come here and mark half an inch and extend it all the way down to the full length now the essence of this um half an inch we're marking is by the time if you're going to use an interfacing to turn like your lining by the time you stitch you're going to be now left with um a, a perfect um length that is going to be the same thing with the front pattern i hope you understand and then if you're hemming it if you're folding if you're hemming um your this zipper allowance is also be the same thing with your front pattern so the front will not be smaller than the back or the back being bigger than the front okay so we're going to go ahead now and cut this out so please go ahead and cut wherever you see me cut out please go ahead and cut yours too like so okay out now the next thing we're going to go ahead now to do is to separate the front pattern and the back pattern you can see you remember we pinned them together so this is me removing all the pin together so after removing the pin you can see what this looks like we'll go ahead now and also label the back pattern the way you see me label it just to be on the silver side to differentiate it now the next thing we're going to do right now is to go ahead and get our dart measurement now i will also say the only difference between the front and the back uh, that is that our that measurement we're going to be starting our that our that measurement from where we marked where we the line where we have our zipper allowance you can see where i placed my 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 tape there that is where we're going to be starting our that measurement that is the only difference between the front part the front that and the back that now i will also let me also quickly explain this you can see that the uh, our boss pants serve different purposes it's not just for only precess cutting or the corset cutting you can also use your boss pan which is your nipple to nipple to achieve a perfect that for your skirt for your gown whichever one you're cutting the boss pan serve different purposes okay so apart from the fact that we're going to take it we're taking our that measurement from our zipper where we marked the line from our zipper allowance every other thing from um the back that and the front that stands the same okay so guys this is what it looks like now the next thing we're going to do is to pick our front pattern and place it on top of the back pattern now this thing this one i'm doing is entirely optional okay but for me this is what i do from my skirt or if i'm cutting a pants now what i do is that I'll, from my waistline i will just come down by half an inch now this half an inch helps my skirt sit properly on my waist okay so you will see where i I'm curving it from it just to give it a little curve big this essence of this is because our butt our front and back is not the same okay this is just to give it a proper balance at the front okay now from our back pattern i'm going to go ahead now and come down you can see the curve i'm giving on it so this is totally optional okay now after doing this now we'll go ahead and cut this like i said this is optional whatever work for you please sit um work with it okay but well, this works for me perfectly 
okay so guys you can see what this looks like now this is our we have our front and back pattern now guys remember that we did not add any allowance to this pattern while we were drafting do not forget okay now i'm going to lay emphasis on the importance of allowance and the essence the importance of allowance rather now when you enroll to in a fashion house or when you go to a, a fashion um, training the first thing they will tell you is the importance of um, allowance now if you're cutting on an a fabric it is better that your fabric is oversized than it's on the size this means is that it's better it has an excess allowance than for it not to even have allowance to fit in your client okay now if you're working on an african print the that the allowance you use for african prints is entirely different from the that you the allowance you add on your english print now for your ink for your african print you add two inch allowance it is standard two inch allowance to always be on a safer side but if you're cutting on a stretchy fabric it is advised you use one inch so do not forget you use one inch for a stretch fabric but for african fabric you use two inches allowance so guys that is all for the drafting of this pens fitted pencil skirt so if this tutorial was helpful please do not forget to subscribe turn on your notification bell so that you'll be the first to be notified bye for now